then what do we do? Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Now, you can do what you want to, but you may have to get some doubt and unbelief out of your life. You may have to grow a little bit in your faith. I would probably start with the, the proclaiming first instead of dropping down here to raising the dead. But, I mean, you start wherever you feel comfortable. <laughs> and also understand this, because this will help you in your walk with the Lord. Everything in Scripture, most everything, you can pull a double meaning out of it. See, if a man emotions is messed up and you get them straightened out by helping them, you've healed the sick. If a person's walking around with dead things, and there's so much in the world. I, somebody was just talking to me. I think it was Bob back there. We was talking at intermission. You know, so much of the sitcoms and stuff you know, uh, titles like The Walking Dead and Zombies. People like to hang out with dead things. I don't want to hang out with dead things. I want to hang out with things that are alive. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Let's walk around with living stuff. So, so raising the dead may be more than physical. You may raise somebody up out of their dead situation. But this is what we're all called to do. Why? Because freely you have received, freely give. I was a dead man. Had no life in me. Had no fruit in me. None. And Jesus saved me. And that's your testimony too. Now, if it's not your testimony, don't leave here today until you receive prayer and receive Jesus. But once we receive Jesus, we receive Zoe, which is the true life of God. You're not waiting on God's life to manifest. It came into your heart. I'm not waiting for the kingdom to come. It came. Now, is it going to come in full manifestation? Yes. But it came in my heart the moment I accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. You are an ambassador for Christ. 